In 2011, Ethiopia embarked on one of the most ambitious infrastructure projects in Africa's modern history, the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, GERD, which stands today as the continent's largest hydroelectric dam. Rising on the Blue Nile, this $5 billion project was designed not just to generate power, but to reshape Ethiopia's economy, reposition its role in the region, and signal the country's arrival as an emerging economic force. But to understand the scale of this transformation, we need to look at what Ethiopia was before the first concrete was poured. Ethiopia entered the 21st century with enormous potential but deep structural challenges. As Africa's second most populous country with over 120 million people, it had more than half of its population lacking access to electricity as recently as 2022. Its industrial capacity was limited, and agriculture, employing the majority of its workforce, remained highly vulnerable to climate shocks. Without affordable, reliable energy, Ethiopia's economic ambitions were constrained. Yet the country had a powerful natural asset, the Blue Nile. Harnessing it was not just an energy project, it was an economic imperative. The launch of GERD in 2011 marked a strategic shift. Unlike many mega projects financed by external lenders, GERD was largely funded through domestic resources, government bonds, citizen contributions, and public investment. This financing model reduced foreign debt exposure while reinforcing the project's role as a national investment in long-term growth. Angerd was positioned as more than infrastructure. It was a platform for economic modernization. At full capacity, GERD now produces more than 5,000 megawatts of electricity, nearly doubling Ethiopia's existing supply. This surplus unlocks several key economic drivers. Industrialization, reliable energy enables manufacturing zones, agro-processing hubs, and digital infrastructure. Job creation, new industries and services supported by stable power create employment at scale. Competitiveness, lower electricity costs reduce production expenses, making Ethiopia more attractive to investors. Beyond domestic consumption, Ethiopia's energy strategy is regional. With interconnectors already linking Ethiopia to Sudan, Djibouti and Kenya, and future connections planned towards South Sudan and Tanzania, the GERD is poised to make Ethiopia the largest power exporter in East Africa. Electricity exports are expected to generate about $1 billion annually in foreign exchange earnings, helping stabilize the macroeconomy while strengthening Ethiopia's integration into the East African market. Though primarily an energy project, GERD also enhances water management capacity. By regulating Blue Nile flows, Ethiopia can reduce flood risks, support irrigation schemes, and adapt to climate volatility. This integration of energy and agriculture strengthens food security and underpins long-term economic resilience. As GERD starts full operation, Ethiopia gains more than electricity, it gains regional influence. Controlling a critical upstream resource provides Addis Ababa with leverage in economic and political negotiations. It shifts the historical balance, positioning Ethiopia not as a peripheral economy, but as a regional power shaping East Africa's growth trajectory. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam is not simply a dam. It is an economic engine designed to accelerate industrial growth trade integration, and regional competitiveness. It demonstrates how strategic infrastructure investment can drive structural transformation while reinforcing national independence in financing and execution. For Ethiopia, GERD represents more than energy security. It is a foundation for long-term economic development and a central pillar in its bid to emerge as one of Africa's next growth leaders.